Good morning or good afternoon. We come together this day to pray for all the victims of the coronavirus. It's a day of fasting and prayer that Cardinal Di Donatis asked us to do. But it's also a way of um, coming together as one community as we are so far away and spread out in many different areas. So I welcome all of you to the Chapel of St. Paul here in the Paulus Rectory with Father Steve and myself. And we come together in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us pause for a few moments and reflect on our lives, asking God for pardon and peace and acknowledging our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here, as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priests, nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you to speak on their behalf, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save, Save me, O Lord, Lord in, in your, your kindness. kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd that frighten me from every side as they consult together against me, plotting to take my life. Save, Save me, me, O Lord, Lord from every kind of kindness. kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save, Save me, O Lord, Lord, in your kindness. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, King, King of endless, endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles, to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left, in your kingdom. 
Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, the Jewish people looked on life as a cup which contained a mixture of bitterness and sweet things. It's a very powerful image. At times, the cup of life, the chalice of life, can be full of bitterness. At other times, it can be overflowing with sweetness. And still at other times, it could be completely empty. James and John wanted Jesus to give them a place of honor. They obviously thought that his kingdom would be modeled on earthly kingdoms. Those in high places would enjoy honor and glory and power and all the good things that life offered. But they got it completely wrong. In Jesus' kingdom, the greatest would be those who were willing to serve. So Jesus said to them, Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? What he was really asking them was, Are you willing to go through what I'm going to go through? Are you willing to suffer? The two disciples immediately said, Yeah, sure, we can do it. But the fact is that they didn't know what they were saying. They didn't know what the cup was going to contain. Nor did they know their own weaknesses. Because when the time came, far from drinking the cup, with him, they abandoned him. We don't know in advance what the cup of life will hold for us. We find that as we're going along. But we can be sure that it will contain some bitter things and some sweet things as we've already experienced. And perhaps that's how we feel right now in this time of uncertainty, fear, and confusion. We want to believe that, like my mother says, everything will be okay tomorrow that we will get through this crisis of health and safety. It's not an easy time, and decisions are being made each day for us, and sometimes really by us. And what makes this even more difficult is that we cannot come together physically, we cannot be together in the same church praying, celebrating the Eucharist. We are spread out in different parts of the city, in each of our homes, and perhaps in different countries. So what can we do to keep from feeling alone? How can we reach out to one another? That's something that Father Steve and I are trying to do with these filmed masses and what Carlo Di Donatis wants us to do today through this day of fasting and prayer for the victims of the coronavirus and for a way to move forward together so that we can come out on the other side and return to our normal or rather our usual way of life. And so this is our cup of life right now. It's a little bitter, but we don't have to drink it alone. We have to accept the help of Jesus and the help and prayer and service of one another. To drink a cup made difficult by a life of sacrifice and service of others is to follow Jesus. And so let us move forward, aware of those around us, paying attention to anyone we haven't seen for a while, especially the elderly and reach out to them. Let us pray for each other and for all those in need this day and every day. The Lord Jesus loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love. 
Let us with confidence bring our needs before our living God. For the church, for we the people who are the church, that we may serve and love one another as Jesus taught us to serve and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For temporal rulers, that they may exercise their authority in a gentle and just manner, that they may find the right path to lead us all to health and safety. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose cup right now is filled with bitterness, especially those who have the virus and those who are most fearful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For healthcare workers, for medical scientists, for those in charge of making decisions and directing resources, that though tired and frustrated, they may continue to move forward, knowing that they have our support and prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us praying together this day, that we can acknowledge our need for one another and not be too proud or too fearful to ask for help. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers of our hearts, we pause now for a moment of silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of power and love, give us peace and free us from our anxiety. Keep us safe and healthy. Help us to pay attention to one another and to be aware of the needs of the most vulnerable. Give us the courage to drink from your Son's cup on earth, so that we may share his glory in heaven. We ask this through the same, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Look with favor, Lord, on the sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange undo the bonds of our sins, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope and our Bishop, with all the clergy, and with all religious men and women. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles, the St. Patrick and St. Bridget, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us now, with hope and confidence, pray together the words that Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you, Steve. Mm -hmm. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down your heads for God's blessing. Bestow on your servants, Lord, abundance of grace and protection. Grant health of mind and body. Grant fullness of fraternal charity. And make them always devoted to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Have a good evening.